from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hi, I'm Sarah Finney. Greg Diaz, your full weather forecast coming up. But first, here your ABC Action News headlines. Phase one of the governor's reopening plan goes into effect today. Stores and restaurants here in the Bay Area will be allowed to reopen at 25% capacity. State parks will also reopen. Pinellas County and Manatee County will reopen their beaches as well today. In Pinellas County, hundreds of deputies will be out patrolling to make sure people stay six feet apart. You'll have to wait a bit longer to check the status of your unemployment benefits. The Connect system is down until 8 a.m. The state is using the time to make some website improvements and process claims. This comes as some state lawmakers are calling for a complete rebuild of the Connect site. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is now also waiving the work search requirement through next Monday. And there's also a new website where you can modify your claim filing date. This means you can now retroactive your pay dating back to the day you lost lost your job. Right now, more personal protective equipment is on the way to Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis says the state signed a deal with the company Honeywell to get 12 million N95 masks. Those are the medical masks healthcare workers use to protect themselves. The governor says these will be delivered on a rolling basis and given out to frontline workers as needed. The governor also says Florida has received 200,000 COVID-19 antibody tests. Those will be distributed across the state over the next few days. This could help Florida's reopening plan. Antibodies are the markers in your body that could show if you've been affected with COVID-19. The governor also says Walgreens drive through location will be opening in Hillsborough County. We'll update you as soon as we learn which location that is. Tonight, you can get your questions answered by Clearwater's mayor. Tonight at 7 p.m., Frank Hibbard will join our Paul Legrone for a town hall event to talk about the city's plan to reopen. Send your questions to paul.legrone at WFTS.com or on our ABC Action News Facebook page. Then watch the live event tonight at 7 on our Facebook page or on our streaming news channel. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. Sarah, good morning. As we start off on this Monday, temperatures are in the 60s to near 70, but they're going to climb up quickly into the mid-80s this afternoon, which is exactly where we should be this time of year. Normal high temperature, 85. Dew points still in the low 60s, so the air is going to feel relatively comfortable as you get out this afternoon, and no clouds out there. It's going to be a mostly sunny sky. So if you're heading out to the beaches, some of those beaches opening up by later on today, uh, they're going to be very nice with temperatures in the low 80s, a nice sea breeze here. Uh, uh, with a water temperature in the low to mid 70s, depending on which, which beach you go to, that breeze will be picking up late in the day. Your latest hour by hour forecast for locations all across the Bay Area, always available in our free ABC Action News app.